And I'm going to go ahead and say welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Liberty Radio on a Friday night. It is Friday night, August the 9th, 2024, in the continued year of our clownishness. Uh, There has not been a reprieve uh, to said clownishness this week, unfortunately. I wish I could report differently tonight. Uh, But I cannot, otherwise I would be lying to you. Uh, But it's not about me tonight, it's about you guys. It is open lines. It is your chance to be a part of Liberty Radio. Call in and let us know what is on your mind tonight from the week that was in COVID land or whatever else may be kicking around between your ears tonight. We want to hear about it. That's what the next two hours are about. And after that, you're, uh, you're on your own. The, uh, the link to get directly into the stream is in the Liberty Radio Telegram channel. That is how you dial in, ladies and gentlemen, just like our returning champion did a few moments before we hit the record button. And uh, as always, friendly reminder, folks, uh, you do not have to turn on your camera if you're shy, but you will need to turn on your microphone. Otherwise, it's just weird. And apparently half of the population doesn't like weird things. Uh, That was what I learned this week. Before we get things started really quick, and I appreciate your patience, Rob, Uh, Short notice on this one, ladies and gentlemen, public service announcement. This coming Sunday, August the 11th, that's two days from right now, less than uh, 48 hours, in a matter of fact. At uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, we will have Nick from Hayes Reviews in the Liberty Radio studio for an interview. And considering what's been going on over in England this week, uh, that should be a mighty entertaining conversation. Uh, So you'll definitely want to tune in for that. Also, I think I'm going to take the week of Labor Day off. So this uh, this is your first warning. There will be more. What's on your mind tonight, Rob? What's happening, Drizzle? I got all kinds of things on my mind, actually. Um, oh. I want proof proof of life of our uh, fake president. Be my oh, first yeah. thing. Yeah, you yeah. jump. You gonna jump on that bandwagon with me? <laughs> I, I definitely haven't seen anything that would tell me that the guy's are really alive in a long time. Well, like it's Blake. it's been like about a week, I think, right? Because like, like when Keith was. Like when was the hostage it. exchange? Uh, was that last weekend? Dish, dish. Yeah, we can hear you, Main Pain. Can you hear us? Uh, he may have that problem again where he's not able to hear us. You got to switch your, your audio thing, Main Pain. That's all right. We're, we're not going anywhere. We'll be here. But I think it was last weekend, Rob. I want to say it was like... Uh, it's like Saturday or Sunday or something, wasn't it? When Joe got on the plane and was never I, seen after that. I, th- I thought we talked about it last Friday, actually. Did about we talk about back. it last Friday? Yeah, about him getting onto the plane when the prisoner <laughs> the prisoner exchange went down. Okay. All right. So maybe it was a week ago then. Uh, I Forgive me. I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> you know, and the I days, hear that a lot. Too. <laughs> yeah. The days all bleed together anymore. It's really the only way I differentiate between the days anymore is do I have to do a broadcast tonight or don't I have to do a broadcast tonight? That's it. Oh, I thought how much wheat is left in the cupboard. <laughs> uh, we're doing good. We're doing good on the, on the stockpile. Yeah, we, uh, we stocked up when we were out in Colorado at the beginning of July. Uh, so it's smooth sailing for the rest of the year as far as I can tell. And then, of course... You know, the uh, we'll have crop coming in later as well. So it's it's dude, it is set to be a banner year, uh, closing out 2024 for Liberty Radio. It's crazy, absolutely yeah, well, crazy. 
while World yeah. War Three is kicking off. Hey man, we're hey, just in time. Just in just time. In time. <laughs> just in Stop. time delivery. Just in time delivery. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it, could, could I, have I would supplies. not have it any other way. I really wouldn't. <laughs> It's been a long, difficult, pain in the ass road to to get to this moment, but uh, but here we are. Fuck yeah, let's do it. So, what do you think the next big thing is going to be? <clears throat> oh man, let's see. So we don't they- have we don't have the convention until that's like a few weeks away. I saw people were passing around fake articles about uh, the new vice presidential candidate on the Democratic side, um, guzzling horse gum. Oh, yeah. What was fake about him? Because I heard that oh, actually I, happened. Well, yeah, it's like every every uh, local news person had a gerbil stuck up their ass back in the 80s, right? <laughs> oh, is it one of know. those? Oh, Probably. I mean, when, when people don't like post like the actual uh, link to where it is and they post a screenshot of some fake looking article, you know, it's the hallmarks of uh, pass this around and look like a jackass. <laughs> but does it even matter? It's now who can uh, steal the elections best. Eh? It's the one who counts the votes. Eh? What style is uh, it? They don't really care. They don't really care. They just want to rile everybody up and get everybody hating each other a little bit more. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe a couple cops will kill a couple minorities just to stoke anger, or a uh, bird flu, or the monkey pox. Yeah. Who knows what they got in store? I'm half paying attention anymore. I'm just reading no. more about the history, the history of the world, and uh, watching it repeat itself. Yeah. So at least I'll I'll know it's coming when that knock at the door comes. I know the answer with the shotgun because. Uh, I ain't ever coming back. <laughs> Are they? Do you think they'll be smart enough to cover all of the the entry and exit points of the home? Like, if you've got like two or three doors that you can use to get in and out, you really think they're going to have them all covered? Do you think they'll just show up at the front door like um, a bunch of tards? I'm pretty sure they'll want to kick the front door down. That makes good. So for, they'll just uh, all focus on that one point. Okay, cool. <laughs> you have right to on. get on the roof, eh? You have to get on the slopey roof. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always the breach team. Who knows what door they're going to come in. But since uh, since the front door is probably the easiest entry point. Or they'll yeah, smash, yeah. smash through the glass uh, sliding door in the back. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they'll get creative and do both at the same time. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> So you're so why over you... in uh, was it Nor uh, uh, Norway? Is that right, Main Pain? Uh, no, no, I'm Sweet. in the Netherlands. I'm Netherlands. In the Netherlands. I knew yeah. it was one of those. I was eventually going to get it. Yeah, it's uh, Europe. It's all the same. <laughs> What's so the I... climate like over there, as far as the people and their uh, anger towards the government? I was pretty stoked a couple months ago. Uh, well, not much going on here. I mean. There's still uh, enough money around. Uh, I don't. I don't uh, see much uh, going on here. People are quite. Uh, yeah, it's still going on here, and uh, there's nothing like uh, what you see in some other places. A lot of foreigners, though, uh, I see. But that, yeah. Also, we got used to that, and we got, yeah, we got uh, Mor- a Moroccan community, which caused some problems in the past, is is now uh, sort of inter- integrated. And uh, but it's weird because I was in the supermarket and uh, uh, it's uh, I don't hear any uh, you know Dutch around me. It's all all kinds of languages. I don't know from uh, you know Arabic guys, uh, Ukrainian, uh, Chinese, a lot of Chinese also, hmm. Indian, yeah. all over the place here. Immigration doesn't work unless the people immigrating want to assimilate with the population that they're uh, joining. Uh, when they would oh, the, the Chinese people. have money, yeah. They bought up a lot of uh, they bought up a lot of fast food uh, uh, places here. You know, not the change, but uh, the yeah, we call it snack bar, but that's an unfamiliar word in uh, English. But snack bar is like a, a you know a little uh, a private uh, fast food place, and they bought up a lot of places, so they fled uh, China. Interesting. You know? I like that term. 
Yeah, snake, snake bar. Bar. Snake yeah, bar. Snake yeah. Bar. That's why we call it. Fuck yeah, man. Liberty Radio, intergalactic snake bar. So we don't oh. see the uh, the people we see here walking around, uh, at least the foreigners. They are people with money. Eh? They are not like uh, poor bastards or something. You know? It's amazing how the people come in from other countries and all of a sudden have money enough to buy up uh, local stores and take over yeah. areas. Yeah. It happens in America, too. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, I, I, yeah, I no, see RBL's jumped in. Yeah, but I don't see his uh, that's the reason why I'm here. He brought me in here uh, today, also. I don't he see wanted, his he wanted to bring me in yesterday, but then he said, um, <laughs> he had the same problem. I said, I don't know what day it is. I'm smoking weed. Oh, no, well, yeah, that <laughs> happens, <laughs> that does happen. So I think it's kind of amu amusing in the current uh, American political scene how like all these people are like trying to attack RFK Jr. for like find any silly little thing they can, and I, I can't even imagine that's like an establishment ploy. That's just people who think they're doing the right thing by protecting the Democratic Party. So it's really comical. Was there Calling something with a cow? What, what did he have? Uh, RFK had some weird, some with a cow on a square or something. It was it was, it was a uh, baby bear. Somebody oh, a bear, had, yeah, a bear. Yeah. Somebody hit it in traffic right in front of him and killed oh, it. <laughs> and he, and he just, said, "Yeah, yeah, I put it there." He said, "Yeah, I put it there or something." Yeah, dumped it in Central Park. <laughs> it's a Russian bear. <laughs> <In> Central <laughs> Park. <laughs> yeah. I saw that he's also being sued in New York by some Democratic uh, political action committee to keep him off the ballot. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been... Uh, I watched his, uh, his speech, uh, what was it, a week or so ago? I watched it live. And actually, he made some good points. And uh, But yeah, yeah, he's banned from the media. Yeah, they don't show him. Uh, they don't show him. They keep him out. Well, it's the same thing uh, that they did to Ron Paul. So I mean, yeah, it's yeah. I, I don't understand why any third party at this point thinks that they're going to get a fair shake from the media because it's just not going to happen. I mean, no. you can you can go even going back to to like Ross Perot in the nineties. Yeah. You know, they were doing yeah. everything they could to try and keep him out of the debates and out of the spotlight so that, you know, people weren't paying attention to him. Yeah, he was polling like dead even with uh, yeah. the two establishment candidates. And uh, somebody apparently made a visit to his family and uh, threatened them, according yeah. to him. And they yeah. tried to they tried to, like, make him out to be crazy for even saying it. And then he, like, you know, spun out of the race and yeah. next thing you know. Yeah, he said it was threatened, yeah. And he said, well, I don't, I'm not going to go in uh, that way. And his, his platform was uh, anti-NAFTA, right? Yeah, he was uh, yeah. America business. He was, he was the Trump before Trump. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. not as, not as good of a uh, professional bad guy. Not narcissistic enough. Yeah, exactly. He was a little narcissistic, but. A little bit, but he was more of a family man from uh, what I've been able to gather. Because he was, he was a very shrewd businessman. Like, he was, he was every bit the, uh, the oil tycoon in Texas. I have a, a book that I picked up in one of the uh, uh, resale shops here in Jasper, like, I don't know, maybe a month after I got here. And it's about, uh, it's basically like the history of the Texas oil business. And his name is all throughout the book in the index. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, a billionaire before they were talking about billionaires, really. Yeah. At least, at least in, uh, there's, before everything inflated to crazy. After the tech boom, all of a sudden there's a ton of known billionaires. Before it was just like the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, the Morgans, and the robber barons in general, I guess. Now, yeah. you know, being a, being a billionaire isn't so special anymore. Well, a millionaire isn't there. 
<laughs> I said it the other day here in the Netherlands, they're still talk about millionaires. I said, well, that's, that doesn't mean anything anymore. It's all billionaires now. And remember, I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember, we had the series, the Six uh, Million Dollar Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's more that nothing now. cancer today, right? That would be cheap. <laughs> the Bionic Man, you know, faster than ever before. Yeah, now he's got an Elon Better than Musk. he was before. He's got and a fifth. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, cent. six million doesn't go as far as it used to. Well, no. maybe it maybe it does when you got a fifty cent Elon Musk microchip. Uh, I think you're, your I think you're oh, probably yeah. looking at like a pair of really good hearing aids and a lifetime subscription to Viagra. That's what your six milli is going to get you today. <laughs> oh, they made the second uh, patient eh, for the chip for the Elon Musk chip. I have a second right. page now I read. And oh, a really? middle class California home, two bedroom. Really? Yeah, be, yeah. I didn't uh, I, I I thought I heard that they approved to put it in like ten people or something like that. Yeah, you're getting cramped up now, like in the Netherlands. We all, we already are used to that, but now it's happening in the US. The house is getting smaller, the place is getting smaller. They're mass producing robots now too. So there's always well, that. Well, was just talking about this the other day. He drove through Texas from morning to night and didn't get to the other side of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Didn't from, see many people uh, from Jasper to Amarillo in All that one day, space. and never left the state of Texas. But they get you in the city, packed on top of each other, and then you're tearing each other apart like fucking rats in a cage. There's too yeah. many humans. There's too many humans. Drop the nuke. Sterilize us, please. Oh, dude, yeah. it was it was Go insane. Drive through fucking Texas, retard. Yeah, driving <laughs> like driving fucking... through Texas <laughs> and Colorado and Oklahoma. Just yeah. the the amount of of open space that we saw in those three states yeah. alone. Well, was I, I staggering, absolutely I staggering. I did an even longer I drive. From from New Jersey all the way across, and that was like the thing that stood out to me. Like, you're oh saying. no, I mean, I've, so again, I drove space. from from Washington D.C. down to Acapulco, Mexico. You know, I went all <laughs> through Tennessee and Arkansas and all of that. And yeah, there's tons of open land in those states as well. You know, it's not just the the frontier states or whatever. No, yeah, that propaganda insane. worked well. The propaganda of there are too many people uh, worked very well. Yes. And, uh, yeah. But it's yeah, yeah you, you're right. That there is there is enough space, but most people are living in in huge cramped up cities. Yeah. Well, that's what oh, they want to do. They want to jam oh, everybody up in an easy yeah. to control area where human life. Yeah, and then they can have all that beautiful open land to themselves. I think is the plan. There was this. Uh, yeah, I watched. Right. Was, was watching this uh, speech of an uh, AI guy, creepy AI guy, and he said, "Yeah, AI, I, it's going to be as smart as humans. Why do we need humans for?" Ha ha ha. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that he was one of the, the guys. He was of the one of the guys. You know. Wow. It's like all their you know, uh, all their stupid the future. Yeah, you know, all their stupid fantasy has some you know all knowing AI and it's going to administrate humanity. Yeah. And uh, it's not going to be biased anyway. I'm sure, but. There is no such thing as AI. You just computer algorithms, and whoever programs that is going to um, give you the Twitter effect or you know YouTube. It's going to be algorithms to show you what they want you to see. Yeah, it will. It will give yeah. the appearance of randomness without being random. Yeah. Well, the AI that's, just... that's essentially what complex systems do. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just an algorithm. Yeah. Oh, a uh, funny, uh, funny thing. I asked the AI, what would be the best president? And it said the first, a demented one, a narcissist. And the third one was a how who can speak in gypsy tongues. <laughs> wow. I'll take number, I'll take number three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we all, oh, actually, that's a true story. We asked it uh, how to get rid of the people. And uh, yeah, it took a few loops, but finally it gave an answer. We got an answer from it, uh, how to get the best rid of people. So what did it say? How, how to call people. Oh yeah, I have uh, yeah, I, I cannot remember exactly, but oh, I, uh, I have it in the in the important uh, information, Max man. Max that's research. Program. Yeah, I still have it somewhere the the end result, but I cannot uh, it's a whole three four points, I don't know. I mean 
uh, thing. And I cannot remember. I have to read it again. Uh, what it said. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a modern form of censorship. The AI. It's a modern uh, because it's uh, in uh, garbage in, garbage out. So yeah. curated by Alphabet Inc. or whoever. Maybe yeah, it's not. Ready. It's not like there's people um, sitting around on their free time programming out, you know, things that they think are gonna be good AI bots. Stuff is all centralized and being developed by DARPA and. Well, all there's the, that. Yeah, there's all that. The, all the subsidiary mm -hmm. Aries. AI gets like NPR and like MSNBC news and cuts out, you know, us. Well, they so caught you ask AI caught, anything. They caught Sports Illustrated using AI to write its stupid articles. Yeah. Yeah, I, I swear large language models are writing half of, like, articles on the internet I think now. it's been like that for five, ten years. You think it's been I, that long? I think, I think it's, it's been, been about six while. months. Oh, they, I saw something all... years ago about um, yeah. some they... AI was writing all the TV headlines, like the... This is what well, headlines is democracy. different. Oh, headlines oh, is okay. different because, like, I have like again, I have a shit. clip maker. My clip maker picks my my clips and my headlines for me, for the most part. Sometimes I'll I'll spruce up the headline if it's just like a bunch of garbled nonsense, but you know, for the most part, it does pretty good with a headline. Well, but it's literally news... just like translating from audio to text and just pulling out keywords and shit. That's all it's doing. Yeah. It's not like an advanced thinking machine like they're trying to present this shit as. Right. No, not at all. Not at all. Where they were using it for uh, Reuters and the AP, those type of things. Scrambling, yeah. scanning news feeds and writing articles based off of what's on the news feeds. No, yeah, I think and it's more smoke and mirrors. I do. Yeah. Yeah, but there's another other part of the AI. Uh, I follow the medical news uh, every day, um, and and it, it is a huge tool there. It's a, they they use it very uh, well. I don't know if it's effective, but they use it now in uh, in the medical uh, research and in all, all sorts of way, ways. Well, the, uh, one of the main ways that they use it is for trying to find new chemical compounds that they can use yeah. as pharmaceuticals. Yeah, that's uh, also, that's big also. in uh, yeah. AI in medicine. Yeah, true. <laughs> but so also for uh, also for operations eh, to recognize uh, if you have three day scans, you have the scans now. Mm -hmm. and you put the AI on the scan. You know they also use it for that. But what you say is right to find new drugs. You know a combination of drugs. And they also repurposing a lot of uh, drugs for other uh, methods. I see now. Yeah. They're huge, uh, busy with that. That like uh, they use a drug for this, and then it seems also to work for something else. There's also repurposing a lot of drugs now for other. Well, I, was a, uh, I was a big no no. I was a big no no during COVID. There was nothing off brand that could be used for it, no matter what you think. It was <laughs> pretty silly, but I guess My people work, are uh, susceptible to listen to their leaders. I don't. Seems yeah. that way. Yeah. It does seem that way. People so what are you going to do? A great reminder from 2021 of the mental state of the people during that time. It was, um, I was buying records off Facebook marketplace and I, I looked at the guy's profile. He's a, he's a medical professional, older gentleman, right? I'm like, Oh, that's good. I'll get a good deal. But then I read on it, look on his page and it's this post. Um, uh, I don't know what's in a hot dog. I don't know what's in my Mountain Dew. I don't know what's in ibuprofen. I'll take it anyway. I don't know what's in my vaccine or the ones I got when I was a child. <laughs> you know, you know, like, I don't know what's in the hot dog, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> you know, like that's, that type of fucking yeah, non-logic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it's, it's uh, uh, Pelosi, uh, Pelosi said that uh, they have to vote for uh, for act and uh, you don't know what's in it. Well, you have to vote for it to know what's in it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. one, of, one of the biggest insults in America is it's a constitutional republic and they just get up there and repeat democracy, 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 yeah. democracy yeah. over and over and over again. I just um, say mob yeah, rule. Say uninformed bot stupid oh. mob rule say that it's the ad nauseum fallacy just repeated mm -hmm. enough and uh 
all of a sudden everybody says democracy. I mean, we're out here fighting for our democracy while they're handing nominations out to people without votes. I think that's actually part of the indoctrination, Rob. I think that's yeah, yeah, deliberate. part of the inversion. Yeah. The inverted well, clown world, MK Ultra trauma based like on because even yeah. even consciously, if you understand it and and you understand the psychological effect that it's supposed to have on you, it's still having that that psychological effect on you subconsciously. Yeah. You can't do anything about that. Yeah, I'm I'm currently reading the Gulag Archipelago, and oh, there's nice. just uh, so that's much amazing. so much history that's repeating itself. Yeah. Oh, can, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, dude, it's nuts. I started seeing it in 2020. I was like, "Holy shit, what the fuck is yes. this?" And you know that's going to get it's going to get what we saw happening then is going to happen this next one. Like the setting up the jackbooted thugs that beat down your door and force vaccinate you or put you on a train or whatever to a camp. Oh. That's I'm, I'm I think sure. that's really coming along this time. I I'm I, sure. I would agree with you. Correct. Yeah. I'm sure that's all all part of that defund the police agenda. Because then you can get a national police force to go, you know, step in to help out yeah. these cities that are on fire. You people, oh. you took away the police, but I'm going to be he's so big and so huge. We police, got Britain, like you've never seen. Yeah, we got Britain paving the way, yeah. acting as the model yeah, for yeah, the Britain rest of the, the world thing. right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, if the people get together and, and get out of hand. Just go to their social media. Track those fuckers down. You're goddamn right we need digital ID. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's go funny. The, I was you see what watching, happened uh, there? <coughs> I was watching this Jim Mars. Yeah, that's on the former subject. Uh, uh, that I was watching Jim Mars, and uh, he said they oh, did the love test Jim with Mars. Harp. They did the test with harp to influence uh, thinking, but he said one th it didn't have any effect on one third of the population. He said uh, to influence thinking. He said you first have to think, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people don't think. <laughs> That's why it doesn't it's affect them. It's funny because it's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is true because uh, people yeah. are so busy trying to make a living, or they're so thoroughly entertained, or they're so fucking self-absorbed. Like they don't. That's also have time to do okay. any research or independent thinking. So they just grab whatever. Some like, if they don't yeah. watch the news themselves, they're at the bar and somebody's like a loud mouth that's like watch rachel maddow and he's like oh you take the guns from the retards white people you know and then that person's like that's what's going on in the streets g and that's how it goes <laughs> that's how it is like yeah, but it goes further eh? it goes further because that, uh, and all that shit like the bloodbath the trump bloodbath remark right it, it it got so much traction in the streets by word of mouth even though like it was clearly oh, yeah. a, a remark about the stock market well, I'm haven't you heard the stock market? The oh, LG, yeah, the L <laughs> there's a few LGBT people who are so afraid of him getting elected because apparently someone told him that he's going to drag him off to the camps or something. I don't know. Take oh, I heard, I heard today. I just walked by a, a television. It was a YouTube show showing clips of news. And it was like, Trump's coming for our Medicare. He's coming for our Social Security. And I'm, I asked my wife, I'm like, did you ever hear of that? No, me neither. What the fuck is this? Is it even real? You know, probably not. Probably. Not. But it's running on the fucking news on TV. Yeah, it doesn't day. matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. It's so nope. uh, off the charts. But not it, since it goes... 2014. Yeah. Well, it's no, a, not it's since a, Obama. It's, it's, a ama it's amazing law. how quickly all those Joe Biden for president people like quickly just jumped on the Kamala. Now she's all of a sudden the greatest thing since sliced bread. To well, because it was it was the, the Indiana Jones meme, right? Where he just he's he's there Switches. in the in the Temple of Doom, right? And he's got he he's got Kamala in the one hand, and he's grabbing for the Joe Biden, and he's got to do it, you know, at the exact right moment. Because the crazy thing about it, Rob, is apparently <coughs> Camel is not even like officially registered as like running for president. Like there is no Camilla for president campaign organization. She's literally just taken over Joe Biden's whole yeah. campaign Operation. organization. Yeah. The whole, everything, million dollars. Everything like everything on the paperwork says Joe Biden. My understanding is that 
that's the only way they can legally obtain use of those funds is to use Kamala. That's why she's there. Well, Just because she's she's like the next of kin that can open the bank account. I don't on the I dead don't, man. You know, I don't think they're she's gonna the let her be president, but I could be wrong. I you know, if I remember Indiana Jones correctly, the uh, the bag the bag of sand and the Joe yes. Biden head didn't weigh the same thing, and then a That's boulder right. came rolling down and chased right. them on. <laughs> That's right. And then hilarity ensued. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny. We're doing, I'm now on a remote viewing uh, uh, web, uh, Discord server. And uh, there, oh. uh, of course, then, the, oh, who's going to win? But, oh, yeah, actually, Jaron Salenta of uh, of Trent Journal, he thinks that Harris is going to win, which surprised me because really? I think yeah. everybody thinks that Trump's going to win. But, but then yeah. uh, he's saying, and he thinks that they make Harris president before that, eh? that she gets elected as president or something. Yeah, to legitimize her further, they're going to yeah. Yeah. let her serve the rest of the term as president. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's all bullshit. But yeah, I, I think so. Like, my wife agrees with Salente on that. Thinks that Kamala is going to win. Just saw some of the crazy propaganda shit they've pulled so far, you know? Yeah, and and how quickly the assassination attempt has faded from the public memory. You know, it didn't yeah. take the pellet very gun shot into his ear. <laughs> Are you kidding? I like, saw his ear today whole on TV. Segment of the population that has become like the cult of Trump. Because yeah, yeah, but I saw his ear on TV today, and it didn't look fucked up. And no, I know he's the, rich enough to look, buy like some surgery to have it repaired, but. It didn't look fucked up. He's like, I'm a fast healer. Right. And he like rubbed his ear a little bit. And I'm like, man, would you rub no. it? No, not at, uh, what is he, 78? You are yeah. not a fast healer at 78. I don't give a like, fuck who like you something are. Something on the extreme, like the feet, the toes, the hands, the ears. I think I think that would start to lose its ability to regenerate first if you were an older person with poor blood flow and circulation, yeah. as older people have. Yeah. So yeah, who's, who's got the Shama Yona playing in the background? I'm still, I'm still, I don't know what's going on with that shit. You know, <laughs> it was weird. It was weird, man. And they had that perfect shot, eh? that uh, from uh, from underneath with the flag in the back, and yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah, and all the shot, and the fucking. Yeah. I, I've been, I've been convinced somebody shot him with like a pellet gun. The way he reacted wasn't like somebody shot you in the ear with a gun. It's I like, it's know. like the Secret Service did stand down, obviously, right? Yeah, and yeah, and they, and they, they do it all. Yeah, yeah, Trump. Yeah, yeah. Did they, they put a patty killed, up there with blanks? They, and they then definitely killed a person. And, have uh, the Secret Service snipers shoot the person in the crowd? You know, is that what happened? Who the fuck knows? Oh, there were uh, the, the the plot thickened, eh? Because there were other shooters. There was one guy on the water tower, and later there was a lady uh, giving. I think the, story the guy out. on the water tower has pretty much been debunked. I looked at that video I once, and so. I and I thought, okay, that's that could be the tree in the background in the wind. Like I don't see. A figure that high I up, see a shadow. No, no, I see a shadow and pixelated shadow. I don't see a figure. I think, uh, I think well, I was rant cast Chris like went over that thing like the fine for tooth hours, comb. yeah. <clears throat> and his his end opinion on it was it's bullshit. absolutely. Well, the bullshit. good thing it is one of those things it's good to hyper focus on and document and save copies of all the th videos that you can right. because and then I knows, also I, all gets, I like, believe. Buried. And I could be mistaken on this, so if I am, somebody please correct me. But I believe uh, John Cullen, the federal agent, seized on the, the water tower shooter theory and just, like, fucking ran wild with it. I think I remember that happening. Oh, there was an interview with uh, women, and that's a whole uh, separate story now. Hmm. But the other thing what I found strange is that uh, Trump eh, was shot, eh, it goes around his ear. But there was a guy, and that's the same bullet, higher up who got hit. So how is that possible? Then, then it must be a shot from low to high, you know? Because if you shoot down, that's not possible. Eh? If, if, mm. if somebody Listen. shoots down and then his ear, then it would, must be somewhere, something behind him lower. But it was somebody higher on the stage. So I think they shot from some window or something, if there was a shot at all. You can because never, we, we, ever no, I can't. Oh, no. Trump was on W. WF wrestling body slamming Vince McMahon was on. He is a Hall of Famer. RBF. Hall of Famer. So what is show wrestling? some respect? Jesus wrestling Christ. is politics for bodybuilders. It's I don't yes. know why RFK Jr. is not in it. 
You go up there, you act like either a bad guy or a good guy. Survivor team, Series is coming you up. You get the you crowd know. to love you or hate you. Yeah. And you fake beat each other up. And then afterwards, you go out and get drunk together. Go to the yeah. lake or whatever. Yeah. You know, go to the casino. They're friends behind the scenes, like Pelosi and fucking oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Turtle Man, yeah. whatever. Right. It, yeah. Like when I saw Jim Duggan yeah. and the Iron Sheik got pulled over uh, going to Detroit in the same yeah. they were in the same yeah. car. Yeah. Right? Perfect. And they were had a match that night where they were supposed to they hated each other. So Trump yeah. Yeah. Trump realizes politics isn't just like wrestling. And he's great at his, his little speech. That's all it is, is those speeches you give in between fights, you know? That's yeah. all, all he does. All yeah. he all he ever has done is just take um, populist views that a majority of the people could agree to take them and, and, and spit them out to get people, yep. you know, fervently behind him while yeah. the other side doesn't ever allow the demagogue to incense us further. Yeah. They, they just take, they just seize on the other part of it that they can use against it to divide people where he's this yeah. hateful racist by, um, it's he not probably, really. he, he, he so probably, much of that is bullshit, he, though. I, I, I know. He probably is a hateful racist. Um, most billionaires like that are. But, uh, you know, what they've done is just taken things out of context and clip things at the right time to make they, them look like this that's, bad that's, as possible. You know what it is? I've, I, I think I know exactly what it is. It's a trap for people who see past the two-party duopoly illusion of choice, paper, plastic shit. And... and they need us to keep voting to legitimize their fucking organized crime, mm -hmm. right? If we don't vote, then th that's delegitimizing them, right? So they yeah. concoct this Trump psyop to, and they have the deep state that that the smart kids are aware of going against him, and they have the media going against him, and it's like even though I don't like this fucking guy, I never have. All of a sudden, I'm in this weird space where. Uh, I know jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams, and I know there's no piss tape, you know. So I'm just you like, know, what? what, what uh, it's uh, it's a it's a D level movie script, and they hired A list actors to play in it to try to make the piece of shit look it, better. But I tell you what, it depends on which angle you come at the thing from, right? Mega I was listening. Carditis. Yeah, well, I was listening earlier today to Shout I out. believe it's the latest uh, tinfoil hat podcast let me check here um but the guy was talking about yeah <clears throat> it's episode uh 803 of the tinfoil hat podcast did 9 11 usher in the return of the antichrist and uh, the dude is talking a lot of uh astrology astronomy kabbalah numerology uh he's pulling from a lot of different sources but he makes a lot of sense along the way in that this is yeah. all part of an orchestrated storyline that has been unfolding for yeah what is it 23 years now almost it's obvious to me that and this Islam is all just a continuation from that day we're still in the process at a time. of the build up to the return uh, of the uh, the Jewish Messiah, the Christian Antichrist. It's not just a six thousand year cycle until a flood wipes everybody out again, <laughs> over and over but, again. But even even if people wouldn't vote, it doesn't matter because then they fake the fake it. They said, "Oh, yeah, everybody fake voted. it anyway." It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's a good point. I man. mean, they're already doing it. They're already committing uh, voting fraud. That's 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 known. Well, yeah, they could easily secure the elections with the technology they have, blockchain. Ultimately, Local yeah. elections are the most important elections, right? Yeah, I think so. For, Ultimately, yeah. for like yeah. sheriff, because sheriffs has a have a constitutional right in the United States to uh, intercede on your behalf against the federal government. Bullshit. Yeah, the they're I more. Understand it. Technically, they're, yes. Yes, they're more, if they have their balls, they're more well, likely to follow the constitution. Yeah, it's that thing of who you know, right? Yeah. Like, if you have a better relationship with the sheriff than, say, like, local law enforcement does, then, yeah, the sheriff's probably going to be on your side. But if it goes the other way, probably not going to work out for you. Yeah. Well, Kamala That's already said she, 
Because they Kamala are still technically has... law enforcement. Right. She wants to ban your assault rifles right off the bat. Wasn't that one of her big first speeches? I heard that. <clears throat> I don't know if she was serious or not. I thought I, I was. I'm half of the opinion that was just a dog whistle. That was just I'm that sure. was yeah, just a, a bone to the anti-gun lobby, right? To that was a signal to to let them know I'm I'm your girl. Come on, get get all up in this. There was, I mean, even, you know, uh, there was even an anti-gun uh, uh, tweet from Biden eh, before Trump got shot. The day before, there was an, uh, Biden put out an anti-gun uh, Well, and a couple tweet. days before that, he's like, we got to put a target on this guy. Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. Or yeah. what did he say, a bullseye or something? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much uh, longer is it convenient for them to pretend the uh, communists haven't taken over, though? Right. That's a good question. Yeah, because they got to open those re-education camps eventually. Well, can't yeah. do can't do that without taking away people's guns, unless they uh, they can silently sweep people up. Well, like, that's yeah. why a president Camelotoe is she is the police an state interesting proposition. She's the right? police state enforcer, right? She's a DA. She tough is on the crime. representative of the police state. That is yeah. correct. Yeah. She was responsible for keeping people in prison longer than their sentences required, yeah. and getting basically labor. getting yeah free labor for the state, and she, and then profiting off a, of that. Her family was uh, involved in slavery in Jamaica of Africans. Oh yeah, and now, or well, when she was a district attorney, she was involved in the slavery of African Americans. My, my brother. I was I was thinking about Literally. this the other day. Uh, so in uh, "Behold a Pale Horse" from Bill Cooper, he specifically points out in reference to coming for the guns, uh, for people to be wary on holidays, especially mm -hmm. federal holidays, because that's you know that's when the banks are closed. That's when you know like a lot of businesses close. People have the day off. They're more likely to be at home, especially something like, I don't know, Thanksgiving, right? Because it used to be like nothing was open on Thanksgiving. He's like, right. that's the kind of day where you need to watch out about them coming and starting to round people up is one of those kinds of days. Then Kamala says something like that. And I'm like, wow, they could just, you know, do 2020 deja vu all over again. And a couple of weeks after that is Thanksgiving. Well, I mean, it wasn't that long ago yeah. that Joe, Joe Biden was uh, giving the, uh, the evil emperor speech with the dark black and red yeah. background. Dark Brandon. So, right, it was just a couple so, of years ago. Yeah. I mean, that's what they're setting you up for. That type of cult of personality. Um, that was like, Marilyn Manson in a CIA mask, by the fucking way. Oh, yeah, Joseph's, Dark Winter, right? He said Dark Winter or something, yeah. Joseph Stalin kind of shit right there. Yeah. What kind of asshole hangs out in red and black backgrounds? Somebody trying to sit, send a message, really. Dark times, bro. Frank Miller, Skyline back behind me. Well... I think we're all dead anyway. I mean, I didn't think we were all making it through that winter without their experimental shot. <laughs> yeah. Strange winter enough, of, here we are. Here we are. What kind of winter was it? The winter of extreme death and something? Yeah, despair. Disease. Yeah. No, he called it, uh, Biden uh, called it Illness dark winter. He used that word. The yeah. yeah. only word. way dark out of it. Was, dark, dark winter, winter. was the... Uh, the program, like the exercise, like where they brainstormed the whole... In thing, June of 2001. Like, Kind of like uh, Event 201. Dark kind Winter. Of, well, like a, Dark Winter, I thought, attack. was the, yeah, the anthrax attacks. Right. Was it? I mm -hmm. thought it was, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it was the anthrax. I thought yeah. it was smallpox, though. Could have yeah, been. I'm familiar Either with one. it. I didn't I read know. that one. Yeah. I didn't. <clears throat> I just remember the word. I don't know in what context he uh, used it. Uh, it could be anything. I can't remember in what context he used it, but he, he just well, used, he used it. he used it in the context of psychological warfare. That was the whole point. Because, again, it, we, d we didn't have people fucking dropping dead left and right. 
is the couple of months after Biden said that. So it was, it was again, videos. all meant to embed itself in your subconscious and do its work there. So, yeah, that, okay. so, so do you think Fauci is going to be the spars sacrificial public health official nope. now that he's too, too old? Well, now he's too old. Like he can just pretend like he doesn't remember. You know, Fauci gets wiped out and Hotez him. gets moved up and he's the same fucking piece of shit. The only way I could see uh, Fauci being hung out to dry is if he suddenly developed Alzheimer's. Like if he uh, if he over well, the course of the, the next shot? six months has like rapid onset dementia, yeah, then I think they'll throw him to the wolves. Well, they caught Otherwise, him on no. video. They caught him on video on congressional record lying multiple so? times, and well, I mean. If they're really yeah, but they but there are a lot of a lot of those guys. That that whole grilling is a joke. It's a joke. I mean, they all lie before Congress now, and nothing happens. Uh, Yeah, you know. Oh, he's good grilled, and uh, oh, see what? Oh, he he's lying. But nothing, nothing ever. The the whole Congress, it's all bought off. It doesn't matter. They don't even care. It's a show. It's an it's a a part of the wrestling show. uh, I mean, they're all owned. They're all owned by APAC. So what you gonna do, brother? It, yeah. You know they if if you speak out against them in any way, they primary you, and somehow that's okay for a foreign entity to spend eight million dollars in a congressional primary. Yeah. Not that I cared for the person that got primaried, but Jesus Christ, that's just so blatant and obvious and right in your face. Mm-hmm. While all of them are clapping like seals when Netanyahu comes to visit yeah. after he's been. Yeah. relentlessly murdering people and yeah. just pretending like you know hamas the group that he funded and created with the us and mi6 is like somehow uh threatening them and they want to wipe israel off that like they 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 love to say that whole bullshit how yeah. they want to wipe israel off the face of the map yeah. like cuz somebody's attacking their position on somebody else's land in someone else's sovereign yeah. country in the Nearby. meantime, they're, yeah, they're launching missiles in other countries that hadn't attacked them um, for some fake boogeyman, and they're trying to like stoke us into attacking Iran. This is the uh, USS Liberty writ large. It's our whole country, though. Like, you know what I mean? Right, like they, yeah, I mean, is that where the proxy war takes place to keep all these psychopaths happy, like over Iran? Because Russia and maybe well, China, Armageddon are and back the Bible is over there, be, right? Near Megiddo the, or some shit. The, yeah, the Korean. Be the Korean yeah. meat grinder all over again, but only using Iran as the proxy. Well, because... they got to kill all the religious people off because, and I think this is why, religious people are willing to die for what they believe is right. In other words, you can tell someone who's religious to kill a child or you'll kill them, and that person will let you kill them instead of kill the child. I think... Maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, if they're... If they're uh, Legit Dude. religious person. Hey, the, there were some the, religious the people up on top. Instinct of... is a powerful motivator. Right, right. But the religious uh, part portion that they're trying to like get rid of uh, is is uh, like the uh, thing that I. Well, what the fuck's a suicide bomber then? There was you know? religious a people fanatic. up on. That's there was what a religious suicide bomber believes, is. Someone it's who believes fanatic. in the afterlife. In the afterlife. For it could also be somebody who life. is uh, more uh, willing to give up this severe existence. mental distress, or may even be mentally sure. retarded. Sure. Or or MK Some Ultra. Some kids that were preyed upon and MK Ultra out of a van or something. Okay. Correct. But right. uh, yeah, religious other, people were again the 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 narratives that were told about these actions that occur yeah, in yeah, the yeah, world yeah, we know that. are not correct. So we we have to discern like the but, the actual truth like, on our own. There are martyrs in like all these uh, religious traditions, not just you know. Yeah, Christian, there was the Crusades. Also- yes, but that's always the after the fact. Hmm. There was also um, people taking people up to the top of pyramids and cutting their heart out to sacrifice it to the sun Correct. god. And- that's right. <laughs> yeah, was religious I'm, just, people. I'm saying something wanna- very simply. That a uh, far an away. atheist thinks that this life is all there is. Therefore, this life being all there is, is the most valuable thing. A truly devout religious person believes in an afterlife 
therefore diminishes the value of this current life to the point where yeah. in order to keep up with their religious principles, they may sacrifice that life far more readily than an atheist. That's my point. I think it stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Actually, in Indian culture, they even use it eh, in the caste system. That, oh, you have a shitty life now. But in the next life, probably you. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let it go, let it go faster. So, you, so uh, you, you are a slave now, and you have to accept it because you are not of another caste. Eh? That's how God uh, planned it. And uh, maybe in the next life, you get a better chance. So um, there's. But I'm saying, I'm saying the system would fear this and try to breed it out or attack it. There's no way out. You of know, the lower you case. know what I see uh, push now uh, a lot, uh, also on the YouTube. There's <coughs> actually a lot of YouTube videos now on it on this whole section uh, thing that uh, the gods were aliens. That's pushed hard now, very hard now. Oh. And it may be even true. Eh? I think it's even true. But it's remarkable that they're pushing this story so hard now. Eh? That was first brought up in 1968 or something uh -huh. uh, by uh, Alfred Denneken. He wrote this book, eh? uh, yeah. The Chariots Eric of the Von Gods. Denneken, that's right. Chariots yeah. of the Gods. And, friend, that, and that story, and that story is that. Very pushed very hard now. It's uh -huh. pushed very hard. Yeah. Look on the YouTube. Yeah, uh, Graham uh, Hancock video. is big on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim yeah. Marsh talked about it. Uh, they all talk about and it's bit. now uh, pushed very hard. I'm not saying it was aliens. But it was aliens. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. aliens. We don't know. We don't know. So aliens. All so. I know is when the aliens present themselves to us, don't fucking believe it. Right. <laughs> exactly. Do not believe it. No, no, it. I think I well, think they're going to the According to the Bible, the first ones to show up are going to be the the bad guys. Oh, okay. claiming yeah. to be the good guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That'll that'll be the uh, the secret the watchers, government. The fallen, the ones that are they're bound here, they're trapped here. Yeah. See, secret Captain, government and all their technology they stole. Here's what it was: Captain Kirk is like God, right? And they travel in the Enterprise, and it goes as fast as light, so they don't age relative to us, right? So they zip around for a couple of years and come back and it's been like millions of years here or whatever. Right? Got me? Got me? So they, they leave like 200 here to watch the place and take off. Boom, zip, bang. They're gone. They're not yeah. back yet. When they get back, they're going to wreck shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah you're right. Uh, actually, instructions were yeah. not followed. But you mean first, they're not going to they're not going to land on the White House lawn. But first, according to what I understand about it, the uh the watchers the the demons whatever the bad guys that are here they come claiming to be gods mm -hmm. or god and they raise us like a big army they enhance us cybernetically and make an army to fight the real god when he gets here when captain kirk gets back we're like the the fucking borg soldier foot soldiers for these fucks against the good guy i think that's how it goes Correct yeah, me. I, I thought that was. Bible. I thought that's how our collectivist uh, society was going. The Borg. If you don't assimilate, you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. better start start liking sucking dick. I guess. Yeah, they, they dug uh, up Nimrod you know, when they went over and killed Saddam and sodomized him, and they cloned Nimrod. And he was like, "Hey, here's how you do it." And they just built the thing. CERN went speak, off. Speaking of sodomy, <laughs> I just saw some horrible video from uh, from some. Israeli prison camp where they uh, surrounded some guy and blocked off the cameras with shields and let a dog attack him while they... Yeah. Did you notice jammed? the shield wow. made the XXX symbol? I thought that was pretty good. It, I mean, it's like they could have had, like written Brazzers and fucking Yiddish oh, at the yeah. bottom. They perforated his... his uh, they colon tore his rectum. Yeah. They tore his rectum and perforated his colon and broke a yeah. bunch of bones and let dogs attack him. And then Israeli TV was like talking about it, and people were like, "Yeah, that's fine. It's war. Fuck them." Yeah, you know. They were and the cheering. Talmud's like, oh, it's "Yeah, normalized they're, now. They're not, yeah, normalized they're not now. human." Wow, I, that's I, the thing I, that's crazy. That shit is so inhuman to me. I to me, can't understand how anybody could get behind that in any way. I don't like the same reason that how anybody like Nazis are bad it. for thinking that they're the only like. I can that's what's bad about Nazis. We're the it. master race. We're the best race. Everybody else is lesser and not human like us. We're the masters, homo superior. Once you right? start down that's the road bad. of the othering, bad. well, that's what the Jews. Everything say, yeah. becomes possible. 
Yeah, 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 exactly, Again, dude. Going going like, back to When I was a teenager, I was like a sociopathic elitist. I thought I was smarter and better than all these people, so it was okay for me to fucking Correct. I othered them, and then I could like steal their shit or make them feel bad or put them down. Correct, because once you see another person as less than, right, you that's are more I, willing to do it. atrocious things to them. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Why, that's why the propaganda always centers on dehumanizing the enemy. Like, yeah. go all mm-hmm. the way back to yeah. World War One, and there were, exactly. you know, ba- babies on bayonets was the fucking cartoon. Always the babies, around. yeah, the babies. Anti vaxxers yeah. have been being actively dehumanized for 15 years solid that I'm aware of since my kid was hurt by a vaccine and I started to see uh, it in the media. Anti-vaxxers, constitutionalists, uh, oh sure, white free nationalists, speech or whatever. Oh, white nationalists. Is. Well, now yeah. I mean, now, they now free Christian speech. nationalists. Yeah, they got they got lazy. They just group it all into far right <laughs> extremist. Yeah, extremist. Yeah. That's what that's the language they used in the soft ass. No, it's uh, UK. Uh, actually UK it is. the correct term is domestic violent extremist or DVE if you nasty. I'd like to I'd like to wife up the the Biden admin and, and be a domestic violent extremist with him. Make him get me some sandwiches. Fuck. Yeah. To be honest, the country's in worse shape, right? Like these guys have fucking sold us out and they've been doing it, but it's so blatant now. It's like, you guys are really atrocious with their offense. You know, holy shit. They're, they're, they're jerking people around. They uh, like yanked the carpet out from under people on a bunch of financial things. And then, Propped it right back up again. Yeah, but the, the funny thing is, and that's that's then we get back to uh, people are not uh, investigating and uh, and so on. And what I do now sometimes, if we go into supermarket, just uh, ask them, eh, where do you co- uh, think inflation comes from? Nobody knows. Oscar Mayer but, Corporation, of course. <laughs> the, the, no, but, but then, that's uh, what yeah, they put, really the war, think. The war, the war, Putin, eh, because Biden even said it, Putin inflation, he called it. <laughs> So, so, oh, yeah. oh yeah, in Russia, it's easy to, to direct to uh, get them riled up. We've that's always what been I at did. war with Oceania. Chocolate it's ration easy. has increased yeah. to less than last month. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. We've always been at war with Oceania or RBL. Yeah. yeah, but it's easy to uh, to uh, get um, uh, used attention in the public and direct it to a certain direction. You know, to war or to uh, another party or to anything you want uh, them to do. You know, it's easy. And that's what I did after the COVID lockdown, eh? because there was so much tension. Because a lot of people are not used to it. They utilize it. And then, yeah. and then they started. No, it's not COVID anymore. You have to worry about. It's now about the Russians. And they were wrapping <laughs> around them in in those yellow uh, blue flags of Ukraine. Yeah, so, the so they exactly know fight. how to manipulate the people. You know, uh, uh, they're in a uh, panic and a fear. Yeah, yeah, you know, use the panic and fear, but then direct it to another, uh, yeah, to an uh, opponent, to uh, Iran or to uh, whatever, you know. Same to shit Russia, happened Russia. with Iraq. Well, I live in a fairly liberal area, and I see a lot of Ukraine. We stand with Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Always, always in front of some starter mansion. The people who are like so disconnected, they're you know the M- yeah. MSNBC target audience. Yeah, it's so easy. The, yeah. the good liberals. I was against Desert Storm, Desert Shield, whatever. What? Oh, not, you were. Yeah. No. I. I. I, 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 want, no, I no, no. No. I'm fucking this up. I was against oh. going into Iraq after 9/11, and people acted like they wanted to punch me. In uh, mouth Afghanistan, like you mean? Afghanistan. No, Iraq. First, we went into Iraq. That was. Yeah. Was that nine? That was not nine. Uh, after that, 9/11. It was before that 9/11. was. That was before, yeah, after. B- before 9 11. He's that talking was before 9 11. They went into Afghanistan after 9 11. No, we went into Iraq and Afghanistan after 9 11. Mm-hmm. I mean, after they took those babies out of the incubators and threw them on the floor and watched them die, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, was was back in the day. that was 90. No, no, you're right. making that, that was way Gulf back War in the day. One. You're confusing your Gulf Wars. I was in like middle school. In the that was first my first. That's that why was I my first Gulf War. You were smoking. You were smoking. Desert Storm, Desert Shield. I misspoke and brought God that up. Damn it, my Gulf War was the best one. All God, I remember. I remember Gulf the Gulf War syndrome or whatever it was the fuck before nine eleven. Before after 9/11. after nine eleven. No, when we went back into Iraq, I was against that. 
because I the flimsy evidence, you know, that that they had anything to do with it. And I, no, see, they never left the evidence. They, they, there they was no fucking. Yeah, evidence. right, right, right. The the shit they considered evidence was flimsy as fuck, is what I'm saying. Fucking Colin Powell and his vial of crack up there in front of the UN. There was yeah, oh, exactly. there's there fucking nothing. yellow cake uranium. And they're like, oh, we look, we sniffed a letter. Uh. We were totally not smoking it in the back room just before we came out here. Well, the dumbest. So anyway, the the I was against thing about it. that whole thing was that and was... Americans were so afraid because at the I'm sorry to keep talking, but the, remember the television every day would be like today we've got an updated heightened alert for security of same thing they did with COVID. locally in your local water supply yeah. your local power supply same thing they did with COVID gas. but exactly they had everybody so fucking scared that they got them all whipped up and like you'd say hey Iraq didn't really do anything to us we shouldn't be there doing this. And the motherfuckers would act like they wanted to punch you. You don't support the troops. Like this crazy yeah, yeah. shit. Dude, there's the still people walking around with masks on. They're so easy to wind up and get scared and they just fucking. Yeah. 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 There's people the incubator. Out, okay. the incubator story that did it with the crying, uh, who was uh, later uh, turned out they to be a daughter of some uh, the ambassador. Incubators. Uh, they, they, are, yeah, they put them on the street and they trapped the trampled on the babies and the, the same uh, yeah, the same shit. Something yeah. tells me yeah. when monkey monkey pox comes rolling through, all those people with the masks are gonna have monkey pox. Funny you should of say the that, veterans Rob. of that don't even know that that, that lady that is, is bullshit. That is one point I have not been able to touch on yet this week because <laughs> the World Health Organization is just itching right now to declare is called in. an mpox yeah. public health emergency in yeah. africa yeah he's about oh. to the point where he needs to go and change his pants like it's that I'm crucial tedros to kill another one percent of the human while population. they already have fuck sense go the bird flu. so they they already have fuck sense made for the bird flu so but now they're going for the monkey pox again wait a minute is bill gates going to make money off the max the vaccines oh max you know he is. is oh uh, uh vance is also in uh, in there uh, this vent this guy behind trump he's also in the vaccine uh, business oh yeah oh is, is he, he into biotech i know he's in big tech he's in he's into the the biometric uh fucking no but also also in the vaccine I, I have uh, i have proof of that uh can show you somewhere but uh but yeah trump was also a pro fox and so yeah well yeah he's the uh, godfather well, of the vaccine warp speed yeah he's the yeah. godfather he's yeah. the best I, vaccine ever today the in media monarchy he did it guy, himself a new guy came into media monarchy today the discord his name was maga carditis oh yeah, yeah i saw that yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. was pretty good i had to I yeah had to and, correct him yeah he should and, he uh, should have called himself Megatarditis. That would have been <laughs> Can't put too many but... layers on it or the normies won't even get it. Oh know? fuck but, the normies, uh, man. It's a slow killer, They're right? Not gonna the get it anyway. COVID. The whole COVID no. thing no. is a slow killer. Think about it. Yeah. They're still waiting for uh Rachel Maddow or John Stewart to tell them what to do. do that, normie. Yeah, it's gonna be chaos now in the coming time in all sorts of ways. Dude, it's chaos see? right now in Britain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> They're yeah. fucking trying to burn down hotels yeah. and shit. Yeah. Did you see there was some Zionist on Zionist violence with John Stewart and what? Ben Shapiro? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that Celebrity there was Death some match. sort of contrived Season disagreement between these two Jews, Rob? In I, media? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. John Stewart what? Uh, apparently trashed Ben Shapiro, and of course that weaselly little Ben had to come back with his response. Oh, oh. I'm so tired of this. So that would be. Wow. Uh, I care what famous people say because I know for sure that Mockingbird has told them what to say, and I need to get programmed further. You know, Daddy. I've, I've got another criticism of the world for you all. So, um, did you see Whitney Webb's latest interview? Where it looks like Which her haircut. It? Oh, the, the, I didn't see hair. the interview, but I saw the she's haircut. Got, she's got the straight whatever that is hair. It looks hair? it looks like when my daughter was like six years old and she didn't get her Who, haircut whoever, when she wanted to and did yeah. it herself. It, she does yeah. look young, and yeah. she looks like uh like maybe extra youthful from that cut. A little, <laughs> extra little bit. Yeah. Little bit. <laughs> 
Is she like married she's, now? She's she's looking for an Epstein type dude right now with that hair. You know. What, what was the interview? What was the interview about? Uh, what she did? Oh, she was talking. She looks about, pretty. It's cute. Um, some girl on some show about. probably has that hair. Well, she is well spoken. Uh, she got that uh, for her. Yeah. She can uh, talk. Yeah, she's got a lot of. Uh, she's got a encyclopedia of knowledge of all yeah. the players mm -hmm. in this global scumbag yeah. scheme. She's like yeah. John Connor. <laughs> like, 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 no, seriously, like her and 12 other people form Voltron and make John Connor. Like, she's important. <laughs> she's important as hell, it seems. Yeah, I, 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 her, only, her heard, uh, I only heard about her most recently, but uh, I immediately uh, listened to her because she's well spoken yeah. and she can really, uh, you know, tell it, tell it uh, to, it, to us. If you, I'm not if you aware can that make she... it through the thousand pages of One, ma one Nation Under Blackmail. You will have a better understanding of 20th century world history than any student coming out of any school anywhere in the world right now. I believe that. It is I very dense. That yeah. Say that again? Which book is that? Which, which? One, Nation One Nation Under, under Blackmail. Black yeah. Oh, I'm going to write That's it Whitney's it's... book. It's a two-volume oh, book. Oh, yeah. 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 And her thesis is that the mob got in bed with the government and the CIA, NSA, whatever, when they killed JFK, and they never got out. It's yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah, way yeah. before that. It's it uh, goes way. Oh back yeah, 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 yeah. We know um, the the kings in Europe. Like uh, we have this, uh, uh, you know, kings here, uh, uh, this uh, royal house, and we know that Prince Bernard. Uh, they they always use the mafia. They keep tabs with the mafia. They use them for for the dirty uh, work oh she was on with neil oliver that's it yeah was. i watched that it was i it did was too. that's when our hair was like that yeah <laughs> but um if you i streamed it with some records her her books are so like uh information dense it's like reading an encyclopedia because there's so many names, there's no way you could possibly remember all the names. But yeah. when you read a bunch of other books about that time period from other mm -hmm. people, you see all those same names popping up and corroborating all the stuff that she said in her book. So, like, yeah. I read her books probably like when they first came out. It seems like two years ago now. Smart girl, yeah. Uh, how old yeah. is she actually? She, she looks like. A... And you read the walls, dude. She's you read worth the about nine million dollars. She's a very high high value woman. If anybody can hook that up, it should be the last American vagabond. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm embarrassing everyone here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really sorry, wish yeah. they would date. I wish those two would date. That's Why? what I'm trying to say. Because they're both so smart, and the, to see them talk together seems like stimulating. They they're, they're each they're, being stimulated, but that doesn't and mean they, work they would make a good couple. I guess it didn't work out for Johnny Vedmore. <laughs> uh, we already got into that, that once. We don't need to go there again. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> about I, that. I would like to have both of them on at some point. So, oh, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. I'm just saying it just didn't work out. I'm not people either. Work, but you people, know, people, people, get into people who their work feels about shit. So, pe people who work together, it's probably a really bad idea to get into that relationship. Oh, it is definitely <laughs> a bad saying. idea. Yeah, that, that was the point I was trying to make. <laughs> I was just. I, I, maybe it's stupid, but I thought they could have like the smartest kid on earth or something. I don't know. That would save the humanity. <laughs> well, it's the other way around. Eh? The two smart people, they get, uh, they get, uh, how do you call it? We call them Mongols, but uh, that's the Dutch word. But uh, they get a disabled child. Two very smart people. There's something built that's in because there. Because they go and get all the vaccines. Because. For their child uh yeah yeah that also plays a role but yeah. it's also something genetically i have a nephew also, currently nephew. who's a who's a pure blood and they don't tend to get him any vaccinations so good i feel yeah. very proud of my nephew it's crazy 40 yeah i heard now damn Before, man uh, he's gonna be like an uber yeah. mensch i know a guy in texas <laughs> he has six kids and he didn't get any of them vaccinated and they're all like never sick super healthy strong smart as hell all started talking early, you know. Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, he's just like eight months old, and he's already talking, and he's uh, very mobile. 
and yeah. yeah hasn't been sick since he was born good so and that's how my kid was until he was 18 months old and he got the shot and then you know oh, overnight man. just gone yeah autism, autism in the u.s is off the charger huh? it's off the charge they're like oh that's that's a coincidence doesn't mean yeah. anything doesn't mean anything no it's not a coincidence that it's been steadily rising over time that's not a no i mean um i can just had him talk had him uh say it in court that they take a select number of people for the initial studies and there's zero follow-up mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they're getting approvals based off of you know when when kids get all fucked up from those things in the <laughs> trial group they eliminate them from the trial like that girl from the COVID yeah. trial, yeah, 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 yeah. they use they, every ma they, every manner and method they can to cook they, those books all the yeah, way they, through to get the re yeah. desired so, result. The ones who have the severe reactions, they throw them out of the trial mm -hmm. so that they're not tainting yeah. the results. Yep. And it's then like, whistleblowers go to the trouble of risking their life to fucking prove that. Well, if and you want to fuck, if you want to fuck with the AI, if you want to fuck with the AI, the scientific go, community. Go on and ask what are the most severe reactions from the uh, vaccines that are on the childhood schedule, and it'll fuck around with you and give you just like the minor ones. And I, I said, how can anybody trust a an artificial intelligence when they won't tell me the severe reactions? Because they kept refusing to tell me, and then it listed them all, and every single one of them, the most severe reaction was like permanent brain damage. So yeah. that's what they're uh, not telling the parents when all they're giving the, all these things. The vaccine inserts, they say uh, vaccine induced encephalopathy. And what this is is a, a swelling of the brain. Yep. Yeah. And and my, like hemorrhaging all over, probably whatever. It's, it's brain damage yep. event caused by an immune response, autoimmune response yeah. triggered against the brain. So your immune system is inflaming your brain, attacking it. Because yeah. it's identifying uh, an invader that got through the blood-brain barrier, yeah, somehow, and <clears throat> and that's what COVID also does, eh? COVID the goes symptoms, the symptoms of this encephalopathy are exactly the same symptoms of autism. Yeah. Surprise! So surprise! It's, it's, it's only it's only by semantics that they say vaccines do not cause autism, because we're not correctly identifying autism or children with encephalopathy vaccine induced encephalopathy yeah. we're calling them they were saying they have autism and then we're trying to we're paying scientists to make up bullshit about the genes to blame the parents to blame yeah. the victims yeah this is the cynical greedy evil fucking corporate beast that rules us like slaves at gunpoint yeah. and steals our children but they do it all to their children too I mean, maybe not the elites, but the, the people who are pushing it, the doctors, they're yeah. giving their kids those vaccines. Yeah. You got to have your useful idiot cult members. Yeah. They're expendable. I mean, it's like the way technology has come along as far as like videotape, it's become apparent with video evidence that these kids were, you know, fine before they got a vaccine, they were, you know, babbling, moving around, they get a certain vaccine, whether it be the MMR um, or whatever. And all of a sudden now they can't DTAP. talk. Yeah. The DTAP and the MMR are the two big ones that, well, it's just like if vaccinology even worked, giving somebody more than one thing to challenge their immune system at a time would make zero sense. Like it's the you, combo shots want, that have the yeah, most yeah. damaging track record. The combo shots. So exactly, and and they, it's very difficult to get single shots to stay on the schedule to comply with the school board and all that. Well, but any if of you even could fucking... and space them out, and if you could wait until your child's three and a half years old, because their data shows that after that age, the incidence of brain damage from vaccines is far smaller because the body is three times bigger you know what i'm saying like they're just not they're not fucking letting the kid grow big enough to take this and the yeah. brain barrier grows immune, ever the immune, longer the they're talking about 40, yeah? 40 at that point. Eh? before a certain age it's not only one fox it's about 40. i mean what what, what right. do they it's crazy in the us when, i'm not here i'm not talking about uh, here the netherlands i'm talking about you guys there 
Oh, my shit. father's Ours generation is up to like seventy some. My father's generation had like seven or six or seven shots total, and they would get the mumps. I think stay I had six days. or seven shots total. They would get the measles, stay home for a couple of days. It was like it was like a thing. Like if you had the nutrition and you were clean, you would survive it and be fine, and also immune for life. But I mean, you got to get these vaccines. All of a sudden, we have this. And, and, and Reagan in 85, everybody knows this, the vaccine, the vaccine, uh, Chil- childhood vaccine safety act. 86, but yeah. 86. Yep. Sorry. Um, but yeah, he, he, all the, uh, he indemnifies all the Merck and all, and all those people. So they have an incentive now because they have the mandates. Yeah. So it's just automatic money forever. And they have to make a yeah. new vaccine all the time to get that extra boost. Yeah. And boom, 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 trillions, billions, trillions. Well, they, they, have, they have a whole model already built. They know all they have to do is develop a shot, prove Cause efficacy, and then they've got, they've got a whole path in front of them that is just, it's basically, it's gold bricks. Right, because yeah. they're just gonna be they're gonna be printing money the whole way down the road, you know, getting it on the schedule, getting it in every kid's arm all across the nation. Yeah, the truth is and, fucking and, disgusting, and, and it's getting vaccines. worse now. It's getting much worse now because now uh, they declare the mRNA and DNA vaccines uh, a success. So now all the other vaccines, uh, or not all, but uh, at least some of them, like the influenza vaccine, mm, yeah. and uh, is also uh, now Go mRNA. Back. And now it gets even worse. They have self-amplifying vaccines and self-replicating uh, DNA vaccines now. Japan is working on it, and they're going to roll it out. That's not now. They've had that. I think yeah, that's I... what the uh, COVID chat is, isn't it? I think there was a movie, like Resident Evil, that they... Uh... They did that kind of shit, didn't they? Turned people yeah. into fucking monsters. Yeah. Well, they already are, in a way. <laughs> if you uh, push the right buttons. Yeah. Well, you got a lot, a lot of people cheering for their own destruction, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how you do that, but it's a pretty yeah. good psyop. Yeah. No wonder it's so easy to form a cult. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty damn easy. Well, you have to, uh, we call it uh, Trump's, uh, anti-Trump syndrome. You know, people completely riled up, like my niece, for instance. And it's well, completely they... uh, brainwashed. Eh? My niece, as, well, as an and example. It, and it, I... cut bo- it cuts both yeah. ways, too. Because you've got does, people right? that have, have the your mental Trump illness talent. against Trump, and then you have yeah. the people that yeah. have the mental illness exactly. for Trump, where they exactly. think he's like their savior. Yeah, they're those, God. Those are like the Q, like the, the Q yeah. tards. He's, the he's the God QAnon Emperor real. Trump. Well, the you drive a, QAnon yeah. guys think that Trump yeah. is a God Emperor from yeah. Jesus. If you, if you drive across the Midwest um, and there's more uh, cows than people, you'll see all kinds of shrines to uh, elect Trump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's well, popular the in the is, heartland. That and even versus, even Alex Jones is the over now. country, Rob. <laughs> Sterilize your brainwash your kids into sterilizing themselves is the other platform, you know. Well, not that I expected to say it, but I did not see a single Joe Biden for president back when he was still running for president. That was I didn't see a single sign driving from New Jersey all the way to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, and but then still and then most, still Harris most, pop, <laughs> most popular president ever. Yeah, most votes ever. Yeah. Yeah, like our government's already illegitimate. As fuck. Completely. And I guess I if you want to be technical, it goes back way back to when it became a corporation or whatever. But yeah. for sure now, because it just pulled a coup on itself. Like the CIA yeah. did a ran a coup on its own people. Yeah, well, 9-11 is also uh the same thing. Oh, of course. Yeah. I don't I don't like think so. Thing. I just think it's part of the psyop. Just that was manufacturing consent for the uh project for a new american century but this yeah, yeah. was a coup Patriot. on on the people via the election not that kamala has ever been bright or a good speaker but they have the best speak, speech writers in the world writing her speeches and they've purposely made speeches for her to say the dumbest shit that you could that could, could come out of somebody's mouth they did the same reason. thing with joe biden like yeah, all the they, all the gaffes that biden moral, had while the, reading the, the teleprompter we're not gaffes. 
They they put that shit in there deliberately because they knew he would fucking say it. Yeah. Anchorman. Yeah, I think I think what they do End is they uh, they do a research on the internet, but uh, and they know the public uh, mood, so to speak, and they hook into that, you know. And it doesn't matter which subject it is. If the public is uh, largely talking about it, they hook into that. But usually it's the old uh, old uh, bullshit, you know, uh, uh, abortion, uh, immigration, and it's the usually bullshit. You know? Battle of the sexes, drug war. Yeah, the war on drugs, uh, you know. Uh, you well, know. We have to keep right. you safe from the uh, Arabs. Your right to murder your unborn baby is a paramount interest to a lot of people. That's the even, only thing that matters to so even, many people. Even the ones who never plan on having kids. Even the ones wanna... nobody wants to fuck. They're so well, upset with it. There's a... so concerned. I mean, you got to have a base, right? <laughs> to get your movement off the ground. You're talking about Manic yeah. Panic Hair Dye? Corporation? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some members. Are they still in business? I think they're back. They got to oh, be wow. back. No, I actually, yeah, they are. You I would bought think, some. Yeah, with I bought all some, the people dying their hair nowadays. Bought Jesus some red Christ, manic panic, right? like vampire red, uh, six years ago. Chick at the my grocery beard. store today had uh, neon green hair. It was I had a red checking beard. me out. <laughs> like, not that checking me cool. out, like checking me out with my groceries. Like the aliens, <laughs> yeah. Yo, if you buy I think groceries, she was a, a bit young store, for me. So chicks will check you out. They're into that. They're into a guy that has food. It's that hunter. <laughs> I like, can imagine, in the woods, especially, you, especially in Joe Biden's half a America, deer leg hanging That's over funny. your shoulder, dragging a quail. They're I mean, like, I was, oh. dude. I was just. I had like That's a big old basket of meat. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can understand. I can understand. I, listen, just, listen. And if you had just, a wedding ring on. She definitely would have came closer. No, she's, like, looking to, she's two she's things looking to move out from mom and dad. I mean, we nobody wants to live with mom and dad when they're 30. Part, a guy that looks like he's happy in a relationship and committed, and his life would get ruined by it. They can't resist that. They, that's what they're after. Yeah, so yeah, you got to yeah. fake those, you know, fake that. Go yeah, around they're with pro the yeah, they're program like that, yeah. Expensive. Because they, uh, that's the nature. The they, have, they want to have someone who cares for the children. So they look for the guy who can take care, you know, and has money or some qualities uh, <laughs> to sustain the... Yeah, because that's because they've been indoctrinated by government school as well. And and society and the, Hollywood the and... Disney fairy tale princess. All of that bullshit, yeah. MK Ultra print. That's a Dude, whole my, my last ex... To make you a uh, sex bot. Her, her, her perfect... Uh, her perfect uh, mate was a fictional character. <laughs> Did yeah, not exist, does not exist, never will fucking exist. It was total her figment of her imagination based on the the fiction novels that she would read. Oh. It, it was it was incredible, like the the way that. That her and those novels sell, of course, would change based on her fucking reading larger material. Than life. I was like, "You got to be fucking kidding me!" Like, how can you? How can you not think for yourself at fucking forty years of age? Yeah. Well, that's that's the other discussion we had the other day. That uh, at least she read books, Drizzle. There She's are a lot of art. She was reading there crap, dude. She was who... reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. oh. Yeah, she just slipped in from, uh, some oh, she got sexually food. liberated there. She was reading <laughs> what's the the other one that the women love, uh, Outlander. She is fucking mad about Outlander. Absolutely fucking loves Outlander. And I was like, you're you're fucking kidding me, right? So she's just a basic ass like my mom or somebody. Well, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, you you're going to Pork Fest you. this year? Can't uh, be dragons far behind. That was I like, have a prediction two months ago. Well, when it happens again, I mean, that's uh, New Hampshire. And that's yeah. like a year from now. I, I have in a no year. idea. Are you going to be in New Hampshire? I, 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 have a prediction. I don't expect us to have internet a year from now. So I have a prediction. James Evan Pilato is going to be DJing at Porkfest. Uh, what? And you're going to be there. And you're going to meet the, the girl of your dreams. And she's going to be based in Red Pill 
and not read Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Big vision. Big so, vision there. That's a really Chris big well vision. <laughs> Criswell predicts. Right, but it's well, a it's watch, watch, She's it's, watching this episode and she's working out every day until dude, Porkfest. Nobody you. watches these things. What are you talking <laughs> about? You said you got a thousand something views on an episode. That's all. They're fucking with our heads, man. They're just fucking with our heads. Nobody watches this. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I see ten-year-old videos with uh, like uh, just a hundred views or something. You know, it's great. It's completely fucked up that YouTube now also. Dude, the internet has gotten really weird. Like really YouTube weird. Won't give me any respect. I've had a YouTube account for like fifteen years or something, and and uploaded videos and been in good standing all this time. And they act like I'm new. When I try to like post a link to say like uh Hi Yona's music bandcamp, I tried to post a link to it and they wouldn't let me. They're like, You're not a verified homeboy. You haven't used YouTube uh, long enough. No. They I'm like, no, only only fifteen it's years. It's because it was Yona. Like they they have a special distaste for Yona. I'm not <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, but YouTube just absolutely it's like like Rumble hates Liberty Radio. YouTube fucking hates Yona. He's on his sixth account? Something like that. So if you've been mentioning like, him, I'm it's still like, on my first YouTube account. I post every week. I post Get Fact Harder. Every week I post Open Lines on the YouTube account. But just yeah. the, the talky portions, right? Like they don't get any of the music part of the broadcast because YouTube would come down like a fucking sledgehammer on that. Yeah. Hey, Rupp is gone. Oh, he's around. He's oh, not, he's, he's not gone. Gone. He probably he had to go take a take a piss and crack another bottle of wine. Interdimensional. He's going to another dimension now. Could be. <clears throat> Don't dimension it. So, uh, <laughs> you guys hear about the earthquake in Japan yesterday? Seven was it the seven point one that was predicted? seven point one? Yeah, and. They, well, they, they predicted the 7.1, like hours before it happened. And then right after it happened, they're like, oh yeah, the next one's going to be like a nine pointer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that's crazy. Cause I heard that like more than a day ago. Yeah. So did they, yeah, predict they could, that it's predictable. Long? Maybe it was two days ago. Like I said, the days are all bleeding together at this point. I have, I have right, no clue. Right, yeah. Time is speeding up. If it didn't happen today, it was... I don't know, it's probably on a recording somewhere in the library. Yeah, but there is now... The Aetna is also uh, the, uh, going off, but if you, uh, if you follow oh, it... Oh, they uh, are. Popo Catapetal down 20, in Mexico has 20, been firing up. Yeah, there are 20... Uh, I follow it sometimes, uh, yep. every week. 20 volcanoes, active volcanoes going off every day. At least 20. Yeah? So sometimes 24, 25. At How many of these were engineered? Active volcanoes every day. To fight climate change. How many were engineered to fight climate change? How much geoengineering is going on? Yeah, yeah well, the, the I, real I have question, question RBL, is who's going to pay for the carbon credits? Come on. Uh, well, I think there, I'm, there is. I'm doing a lot of breathing over here, and I don't think they like it. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah, that's the what is it, James Bond? Huh? Do you do you expect me to talk? No, Mister Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> but I'm not breathing like the uh, California teachers instruct the kids they're teaching to meditate in school when they tell them to breathe in through the mouth and out through the nose. I'm trying not to do that. I'm doing the opposite, <laughs> mostly. Well, when I breathe in, there's a cigarette in my mouth, so I don't know. I'm a part of the volcano here. Yeah, bro. All right. Here's a, so here's I guess the. the I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rob. The, I guess then the the, uh, the nine earthquake never came. How did Not they predict yet. the seven? I have no clue. How? It was the it was the uh, Japanese meteorological uh, agency that predicted it. Apparently. Yeah, there is a. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube, Dutch Sense is his name, and he uh, he uh, does this work for years, 
Yeah, and uh, it. and he does it quite good, and you can sort of predict it because it goes along this fault line. So if there is something happening on one end of the fault line, and he he got you know used to it, uh, following it, so he knows how it goes, and it goes further, further, and then of course you have the afterquake, and so there is a sort of uh, way of predicting uh, this along this fault line if you're uh, study this shit for a couple of years. Yeah. No, I've been I've been following. Um, I have uh, on uh, part of my Twitter feed. I have a, a bot that reports uh, on seismic activity all over the world. And so, yeah. like, I've been watching for the last couple of years as those reports come in, like, you know, where they are and, and what the uh, um, uh, what the strength of them is and, and, you know, how they're hitting in different parts of the world in succession. Yeah. Like, it's wild. You, you can see a pattern develop over time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's always like 70 volcanoes erupting all over yeah. the world. Jesus. Well, that, I, that I, counted a 20. I counted 20, but uh, okay. Might be 20, have, I don't know. You have this site, uh, you have this site they sh show you a map with all the active, of, uh, uh, really active, eh? and then you have the next ones who are sort of active, but uh, really active are red. They show you a red uh, triangle, and I counted 20 at least, eh? so sometimes 24, 28, so uh who are really active but yeah that's going on i i, I believe in the expansion uh earth uh expanding uh, theory i think that makes uh, a lot of sense that it's uh, that we have uh some uh something going on that way that we are expanding uh, the earth is expanding and then getting a bigger a little bit and then you have all this uh thing going on Could but be. who knows there's so much going on in the universe well, it's even a violent, just in our solar please. system, there there are odd phenomena uh, from a meteorological standpoint occurring. Again, if we can believe that space is real and they're telling us the truth about all of that shit, there's other weird things happening on other planets in our solar system at the same time that we're getting like all of these weird weather effects and shit. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it yeah, seems yeah. like it has something to do yeah. Uh, with like the the whole uh, electromagnetic, you know, interaction oh, sure. of the sure. the various heavenly bodies. Yeah, yeah, yes. And there is so, radiation coming in from the center of the galaxy is is radiating out. And if there's a pulsar uh, in the middle, then it radiates out. And uh, Cliff High was talking about uh, what that, strange strange uh, energies from space. He called it. Hmm. And also well, affecting our brain that people get more uh, excited. And uh, what do you think about Cliff High? I've watched some of his videos. He's got some really interesting things. Yeah, I've never well, seen. I, I've never I seen like anything him. he said happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I did see something uh, he predicted happen. You know, with uh, with uh, uh, weather, with the weather uh, thing, with rain, heavy rainfall, and so that that he got that one right. But uh, that's his web bots. No, but I like his uh, out of the box thinking, and it stimulates my brain. Even if it's bullshit, doesn't matter. But uh, because it's you cannot control it. Eh? There are some theories he puts up there, and yeah, how can you control yeah. it? You know, uh, or, or, or know it's true or not. But at least he's thinking outside the box, and he has some connections eh, here and there. So, so some things he's saying is not uh, it's not uh, all bullshit. And uh, but he's thinking outside the box, and uh, I love it. It stimulates my brain to get new ideas in. I like that. That's why I like to uh, to listen to him. And he has contact with his remote viewers now, and I follow some of these remote viewers also for some years. What's you know? the I uh, mean, What's the accuracy of the remote viewers? Yeah, well, different numbers. Uh, I heard twenty percent, then I heard fifty percent, and uh, sometimes higher. And I think they used it in the military uh, quite successfully. And the, the way protocol. To use no, no, that's 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 well, for me at least it's not allegedly, but doesn't matter. You have to research first. But uh, anyways, uh, it, it, the trick is to use more of them on the same target. Then you get a more accurate picture. It doesn't seem like something the military would declassify or the intelligence. If it well, was... the, the, it's it's all out in the open. Uh, you have to research it. Uh, there were guys who were in this project uh, all talked about it. It's not a secret anymore. It's not a secret anymore. It's uh, you can uh, you can uh, they tell you the whole history there what happened and uh, so uh, and uh, I think there, there may have guy... been uh, 
even yeah. unofficial military training of it of the techniques. Oh, that's now it's now out in the open. You can uh, I, as, as in like just passed along among like chums after hours, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you're interested, you can. I'm on a Discord now with uh, those guys, but it's uh, they have courses on it. And if you're interested, uh, I don't think I can do it because my brain is too, uh, you know, it's always thinking about something. Well, I knew a guy. I knew a guy. He was Air Force, and he, and he claimed that he learned it while he was in, and and he could do it. Everybody's so. psychic, eh? Don't forget about it. Everybody's psychic. Right. But, yeah. The so. acknowledgement that it's possible is the first step of you know the thing. Yeah, you you know there was a guy in 2017. He came out. He had an ominous feeling. Isn't that it. how the 12 steps start as well? <laughs> yeah, sure. You have to acknowledge. You got to see it, problem. believe it, achieve it. Oh yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah. But here's the interesting thing to me. I asked this guy who claimed he could remote view any place. I said, "Okay, so what's on the dark side of the moon?" Because that's what I've always wanted to know. Wait, and, how, uh, wait, how could you even prove what he was telling you? Why don't you try I, something that you could actually prove? Oh, they do that. They do that. They I do that. They do it's that. Just a, I was just talking to a dude, all right? I asked him what's on the dark side of the moon. He says, uh, I only tried once. I'm, something's there. I can't look at it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm scared. And um, then 20 years later, I, I'm watching the Y files, and he's talking about remote viewers who the government wanted to look on the moon. And that's literally what they said. Like, there's something here. It knows I'm here. I'm I'm in danger. You know, so either oh no, they did the it. Dude, I was they talking to the Air Force dude twenty years ago knew about that story already, yeah, and heard it on some bullshit like AM radio or probably coast to coast know. AM. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, no, but they did remote viewing uh, on that part. Yeah, uh, uh, serious remote viewers. I mean, the way it works is you follow a guy who's uh, uh, is a remote viewer, and then you check his uh, record. You're following for a couple of years, you know, and then right. you can see how it uh, turns out. And some of them are very good, but just yeah, the guy you don't know and he's saying, I'm a remote viewer. Yeah, you're first. They were revealing started. Russian military targets in the 80s and shit, right? Yeah, 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 they did. They, Successfully. They did, it. Successfully. They did it. Yeah, over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Russians actually started it. Eh? They started it before the Americans even. So uh, no, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. There was this guy in 2017. He talked. He had a, a weird feeling or ominous feeling. He called it, and he uh, predicted this virus uh, uh, quite detailed. Hmm. He called it the blood disease, and it turns out that COVID has a lot of effect on your whole uh, system. There, it goes. Uh, it even goes into your uh, immune cells and can replicate in there. It can replicate in uh, blood cells. You know, so it's a really nasty thing uh, uh, in that respect and goes into your brain. And that's how I got on this Discord server with uh, where, where uh, Bin Laden also is on uh, uh, early on, because uh, this guy, this neurologist, he he saw the neurological uh, neurological component of this virus, people having strange behavior, licking up, yes, spitting. And I recorded it. I recorded it. I have a text file on it. If you want to uh, don't believe me. That there was an incident every day reported of some spitting incident. Somebody got arrested, got aggressive, and was spitting, and and then people licking objects. It was weird. So we know that there's a big uh, brain component on uh, in in the COVID because of the rabbis they put in there. There are three different uh, rabbis uh, versions they put in there, including uh, some toxic like uh, shit like great snake and cobra snake uh, toxins are in this uh, virus. And I, uh, it's uh, it's a slow killer, and and but the fuck sense are main, even worse. Main pain. Do you watch Stu Peters regularly? No. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. I'm doing my own research. Eh? I do okay. my own research. The so thing you I heard watch was me, uh, you should uh, listen to me. <laughs> I heard I heard there was jellyfish DNA in it initially. Uh, Luciferian. Nah. nah. Luciferase is uh is the the dye, right? Like the glow in the dark ink. The glow in the dark thing. It's the bio indicator. Yeah. yeah. The contrast dye type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, because uh, they can hit it with a fluorescent light and it'll show up. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty it. sure I'm pretty sure that they experimented all kinds of shit. They had so many people willingly or being forced into taking it that what? they there probably were three had main batches. 
that apparently the jellyfish is a is a colony organism in other words it doesn't think for itself it it thinks in terms of like a a, a group of jellyfish uh, sharing a brain or something <laughs> it's its behavior is that way anyway and well, they have regenerative they have regenerative capabilities like if you were to lose a tentacle it'll grow back and yeah, like a yeah. and and like a, yeah and so self-replicating whatever something is in there and people's veins getting clogged up with these big linguini looking jellyfish tentacles coming out of them at the autopsy under high pressure because it's so blocked all they had to do is just tell men that it was going to increase their penis size a couple inches and they would have been fucking running tripping over each other to get it the same people who probably got it anyway but (laughs) yeah so yeah and the other thing is of course with the gain of function research which is not discussed anymore uh it's a, it's a matter of time before another virus uh, escape and uh, escapes the lab because lab escapes are normal uh, they pretend that it never happens but it happens all the time <laughs> i was terrified time. i was terrified when i first discovered the uh disbursement of those bio labs around the united states they're all oh. over the place yeah, it's all like, over the world. It's like yeah. it's like they're set there to so kill off have, all the population you have the on one day. Granddaddy, right down the road from you. Oh yeah, Fort they're Detroit, everywhere. Man. You, you and, live within and, an hour of like one of the most contaminated spots on the entire fucking planet. What are you talking about? And it's I've like got a, nuclear power plants around me too that can melt down when society collapses. Blah, blah, blah. There's there's a huge like cancer cluster around the uh, Fort Detrick, yep. <laughs> spanning yep. like a hundred miles out in every direction. West Virginia is the home of ass cancer. Thanks, Dupont. That is true. Yeah, that's that's another research they did on pesticides uh, uh, on France, and indeed the cancer is high amount uh, some rural areas where they uh, use these pesticides. Cancers the the yeah. I was just I was just reading today that I think it said like 20% of the pesticides currently in use have the forever chemicals in them and they've been leaching into the waterways and the soil and yeah. Yeah. We have it in the blood. We have it in the blood. Everybody has this shit in We're his blood. Cooked. We're you have it cooked. in your balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Microplastics are in your cock and balls, ladies. And, and now the microplastics, yeah, now the micro. They're in your breasts, ladies and gentlemen. And the worst, the worst part is it doesn't <laughs> even keep your balls warm in the winter time. Nope. There's like no benefit no at all. No insulation Benny whatsoever. Balls. Microplastics only benefit is to harbor it's a cruel virus twist of, of so that bait. it can survive in the air for way longer than it could just by itself. That's the only benefit of a microplastic. It comes off, breaks off your mask takes your virus in like Goku's little spaceship floats around in the air, like a particle for fucking 36 days and then infects somebody. Yay. Are they, Trust you the think science. they're Trust you the think science, they're, motherfucker. The fuck you are think you they're going talking about <laughs> microplastics, bro. No, but, but the virus in itself is already quite rigid. It can sustain quite high temperatures. It can, uh, uh, it stays in the water at least for 25 days. It can stay in the, uh, in the air for hours. It's already, there was a, yeah, a research exactly. Out. It can stay in the air for hours, but inside of a particle of microplastic, it can stay in the air for like 28 days. Like there, there was a study on that. Oh, that's, uh, well, you yeah, haven't seen that one yet, but yeah. that's uh, interesting. Uh, it's another interesting one then. Yeah. So if you're infected with a virus and you're yeah. breathing out through one of those cheap masks, that's breaking off little pieces of microplastics. Oh, of that's what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. my point. And it's also a jet. It, air, it makes a jet. Yeah. Out of the little holes and shoosh, shoots it up in yeah, the air yeah, where yeah. it can float yeah. around for a fucking month yeah. in the grocery store. Speaking speaking of jets, did you guys see that plane just like spiral down out of the sky and crash in South America? I did. Oh. I, I made myself watch that. That was, that was uh that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. And it was there were like angles. sixty people on that plane. Yeah. Yeah. The question is who? Because then uh, we uh, we get the conspiracy uh, uh, going. That's, uh, that is a good question. Uh, we're gonna have to wait to find out though, because it was what it was a South American country, wasn't it, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Something there in South America. I saw the 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 screenshot of the clip. I didn't go into the vid oh, at that moment. Man, that was uh, 
That was not pleasant to watch. Because it's the favorite CIA method of getting rid of people. Yeah. Yeah. Has this got anything to do with the Venezuelan coup? Yeah, that could be. That could be. It wasn't. It wasn't a plane coming out of Venezuela, but it didn't mean it didn't have anybody on it. I hope hey, there, well, there, will, there will be some people researching this. We have enough people around now. The Nazis are down in Argentina, right? They could be doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, in case of doubt, blame the Nazis. Uh, no, the yeah. Nazis. blame the Germans. In case of doubt, blame the Germans. <laughs> the Nazis just lost Germany. They didn't lose anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy, yeah. Technically, yeah, but, uh, I don't yeah, think well. they lost Germany. I think they just sacrificed it. They're like, all right, we're just going to give Germany to the communists and we're going to go and do some other shit. Yeah, from from the moon. Yeah. <laughs> from the moon? No, we, shit, from oh, Antarctica. What the fuck Antarctica. are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And possibly the moon, right? From 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 America and Argentina. I don't. And I'm not into the, story, the whole Nazis in space thing. Like the I don't story think goes, that's a cool look. They they achieved. Me the neither. But UFO they, the Nazis, in the, 50s the and Nazis 60s. fled, and they went to South America, and they went to Antarctica, and they discovered the hole in the Earth in Antarctica, and that's Little how they Schwabenland. got. That, yeah, that's right. That's how they got in into the inside of the Earth. In New Schwabenland. Okay. okay. Yeah. But the story also goes that UFOs were actually. Fact check me on that. I dare you. UFOs <laughs> were... <laughs> hey, no, hey, I Admiral saw the Bird... theory. Yeah. I saw the theory. Yeah. Admiral Byrd went down there on an expedition and That's encountered right, he did. some Nazis. He did. Encountered he did. Nazis. There was and gunfire. Admiral Byrd in my hometown in Winchester, Virginia, in the library, the public library that is actually privately endowed uh, in Winchester, Virginia, there used to be a statue of Admiral Byrd and his dog. And the statue was commissioned after he made his first return from Antarctica. Yeah, that whole Fun story fact. is... So I don't sketchy. know. I don't know. It's very sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like his his uh, son tried to like make money off of his dad's name, made up some diary. Yeah. It's completely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that story that's, gets repeated all the time. It's only one horrible. guy putting it out, and then it gets repeated, repeated, and it's a nice. It's a nice story. It's a nice. Yeah. It's a, it's a, exciting. But the idea, but the idea that uh, UFO crashed and was reverse engineered, and people had UFOs in the 50s and 60s and could have gone to the moon very easily and done things we don't know about on the the dark uh, side where we can't see bob lazar's story is the most compelling one i've ever heard because like some of the shit he said back then which made it seem crazy like stuff he does he describes technology um came born out over time out to be true Yeah. yeah Like he was talking about some hand scanner thing that like measured your the bones in your hand, and everybody was like that shit don't even exist. And you know, it turns out years later, that fucking device popped up somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a little strange. Because yeah, I was ready you, to write yeah. Bob Lazar off up until that happened. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on, let me call Gene Roddenberry on my flip phone. But there is, uh, I mean, if you talk with people, so many people have seen something. Uh, I mean, my sister saw a flying saucer. I met a guy. Uh, he said he was. He said he was chipped and he was abducted all the time. Uh, so there is. If you talk to people, there. Is, uh, I saw. Oh yeah, a woman with pictures of some portal opening and and oh yeah, if you if you have those uh, those night goggles, you can see shit. So you know, and yeah. uh, so. There uh, definitely there's some, uh, something uh, going on uh, there, and that uh, oh yeah, there, we had this disclosure project. This guy said, well, there are at least about around sixty uh, different alien species uh, which we have identified uh, who uh, visit uh, Earth uh, regularly. And now uh, I was watching this other clip that they have uh, all those. Uh, they have some alien bases around, and they are all in the mountains. So they are all in the mountains. Which makes sense. So you're saying that they're around and I may be able to convince them to use their technology to suppress this horrible government we have in the world, this world government. (laughs) 
Well, there's another story. Uh, no, the which world I'm, government uh, works for the aliens, Rob. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say. Yes, yeah, exactly. But I think I, I made my own story. Uh, I found this. Uh, they found this. Uh, they call Gates, themselves uh, Archons. Archons. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and you have this Ellen Gate that's called people. And the story goes that they were the guys uh, which uh, 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 Sitchin talked about. Those elongated skull uh, people, and they have the skulls, eh? and they are not human, and they are not bind because their volume is uh, two, two, uh, their uh, brain volume is two times uh, of us. They have bigger eye sockets, they have bigger teeth, and the the sewers or the seams in their head in their skull are different from ours. Mm. And you have this guy Brian Forster, and he goes with uh, he does these tours, and there's also medical personnel he meets on these tours. I know one of them. On, uh, who's on the uh, Discord? Who went with him? And they asked these people, eh, medical people, oh, look at this uh, this skull, and you can see them in South America, but they are found everywhere in every continent. So I think these were the guys responsible for building the Great Pyramid and all this shit and this and the masonry with those big stones. And mm -hmm. they uh, left left uh, the uh, Mars that are hybrids uh, that are hybrids uh, who they left behind, like a mixture between the Anunnaki eh, with the big skulls. And uh, and they were kings and the priesthood and they were the ones uh, you know uh, and that's why you have these big heads in the Vatican but also the pharaohs uh, have those big heads to hide this uh, this and Cliff High said that when he was young and his father was at the military station in Europe that he went into the museums here and that they were actually paintings up with these guys with the uh, elongated skulls but they are all taken down now he said so there's a whole story there and i found a picture on mars with the guy with the elongated skull guy or the head lying around there and i found one on the picture myself uh, uh downloaded from nasa with some elongated skull guy with a cape and then lying next to some star wars machine but yeah the with problem a, is that I a, don't... Cape? <laughs> a cape there, a cape there were giant yeah. skeletons found in my area in my region uh when the settlers or whatever came and were plowing the the burial mounds flat so they could plant they would unearth you know their their plows would unearth these skeletons that yeah. would be seven eight yeah. feet long double rows of teeth one extra finger yeah. and so yeah. i mean that's the thing there were so countless newspaper yeah. articles from the 1850s mm. and on yeah. Yeah. about this and it's in the local town, you know, blah blah blah, old books and shit from back then. So, yeah, the yeah local physician, yeah. local sheriff, or or medical examiner, in a coroner, physician, somebody would come out and look at it, document it. Smithsonian Institution would come pick it up. Yeah, and it would never be seen again. Never yeah. again. This could be the Anunnaki, and then the elongated skull people. I thought they were the original guys, uh, aliens, but that could be a hybrid from, well, from uh, the uh, other guys. The Book of Enoch has a passage about the uh, the spawn of the Nephilim and human women, and yeah. it's that they, because they are of the earth and of heaven, they can't go to heaven. They're they're trapped on earth. So I think that's where. Demon, the idea of demons like disembodied spirits come from like demonic spirits is it's the spirits of those motherfuckers like perhaps you know yeah i'm always trying to figure stuff out yeah that's what i'm doing uh, making I, I try to make my own uh sense of it and uh, there is some uh there's some proof for it i think take some dmt or some mushrooms and maybe you'll find that answer before the next time mm -hmm. i talk to y'all <laughs> I never did. Maybe uh, I should, but I don't know. You should. I, I, I rather, I rather ru rational, ru my own ratio. I would recommend mushrooms if you've had a stressful time. Absolutely. And, and I you want to just chill the fuck out. Period. <laughs> Like I know, I know, uh, I know. Pilato had a had a nice little experience with some LSD not too long ago, and I'm not trying to shit on that. Uh, but having done the vast majority of psychedelics that are available in the world at the moment, there is no comparison between LSD and mushrooms. No. None whatsoever. LSD has got this, like, jittery, anticipatory, like, on the edge, like, nervous, nervy feeling. And mushrooms are so chill. You feel like, like, you don't have to know how to meditate to reach this state with that. Like, you're just like, 
I feel like I'm just well, on the fucking the the signal, man. You know, you may It'll need to get the right the LSD, head. maybe. Maybe you just oh, haven't I've, had the right kind. I've had um, more acid than uh, probably than you and the drizzle. <laughs> Probably. Well, probably by, I don't by know. accident. I don't know about that. By accident. Probably. I had I shitty I stuff um, for years and years, but when I went to Pork Fest, uh, I got stuff there that was the purest, best stuff I've ever had. Oh, um, yeah. Didn't have that cool. jittery feeling, that arsenic poison feeling. Yeah, mm. strict nine. Was... yeah, 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 yeah. That's the strict nine. Yeah. <laughs> strict nine. That's what I always heard. Yeah, well, about the MIT. No, I dig what you're saying, brother. This clean acid is totally different. Like, I think I had some. Uh, what is that orange dot stuff? Mescaline. That was really mm. a clean, a clean trip that wasn't like jittery at all. That was similar. That's good stuff. Yeah. It's these little orange dot candy things, almost. I I haven't talked to an American who didn't take anything. That's also it was a surprise for me when I met the Americans via the media. Yeah, it's like a it's like a rite of passage. They all, they all fucking took everything, man. Dude, we are the land of big pharma. What do you expect? Yeah. You know, we're fucking we're bombarded with pharmaceutical propaganda like morning, noon, and night, seven days that a whole, week. That whole hippie and, generation, you know, get yeah. fucking wasted and fuck in the mud for peace or whatever like we we are like the mm. the one country on the planet that is amusing themselves to death while they are self-medicating death. yeah it's, it's a, a vicious cycle to be locked in mm. what about mn what is it called mnd yeah that you guys experiment with a dmt uh, oh, dmt sorry yeah dmt oh ayahuasca dmt or ayahuasca Ayahuasca is DMT on a longer scale. I've never done that. Mm. I tried the DMT once. Cliff High talked about it, and he said he took. Uh, he said you have to take large amounts, and he said he had uh, uh, via that uh, uh, taking that he had contact with aliens, and he exchanged information with them. He he did it several times, but he said, "Yeah, you mm. have to take uh, large amounts," and he would advise it to other people. <laughs> and, he made, uh, and he had a nice story about it. Uh, that was uh, interesting. But did he see the crystal jaguar? That's the question. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what is that? Crystal what? War? Uh, it's just a joke. Mm. Okay. I but, saw uh, everything. Supposedly I everybody s- sees a jaguar. And it's uh Oh no, no, uh, 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 no. He said he said he said that it was interesting that you uh, appear like a like a bulb, like an energy bulb, which makes sense because mm. we see them on Earth. Uh, they are the most seen UFOs here. Those uh, energy bulbs, like a plasma, a little plasma bulb flying around mm-hmm. and, and uh, having a sort of consciousness. So it could be, that could be the consciousness of, of some that. other uh, being. I could see that, yeah. And and so when uh, Cliff High said it, that you appear like that and then you can take a form, that makes sense because that 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 learned me something. But they, oh, well, maybe those things are, and they are seen by, uh, many people have seen them. And they seem to be conscious, eh? like uh, you feel them and, and they see you sort of. And that they're just like little drones, you know, uh, investigating shit, you know, uh, yeah, around the pilots. Her. The pilots say that they uh, appear to react to their thoughts. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So maybe it is something like that. And uh, and he said, well, he, he exchanged some information. He said he, uh, they gave him something, but he doesn't, doesn't want to talk about it, of course, because it, uh, I think he used it for his uh, work or something. And he said he gave one of those alien species the concept of paint, <laughs> that they still didn't have the concept of paint, eh, to, to put another layer over something else, which could be, if you don't think about it, could be uh, uh, you know, something new for, for somebody who hasn't thought about it. He was but, teaching a monkey to paint, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could be. Like could be, Rob. And I, I take the guy serious with his, uh, with his stories. And uh, yeah, of course, you cannot check it. Maybe it's complete, uh, you know? Yeah, I, that's why I, what's interesting. I like listening to people like that, just to pick around ideas. Yeah. Reminds me of Tesla getting, uh, having conversations with Martians and coming up with crazy inventions. Yeah, he said I, I that, that. He said that that he got the information from the outside. He said, "Well, I get it. Uh, you know, I get it from the outside, and it comes in." All the information mm-hmm. is floating all around you. Just have to find a way to harness it. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's. We are in the ether, so we yeah, are connected. Basically, via what Tesla it. said. 
Well, if you figure that out, they'll probably come kill you. So keep that to yourself. <laughs> that or or if you figure out how to make a, a an engine run on water. Definitely. If you do that, ladies and gentlemen, it, if there is no other legacy for Liberty Radio, let it be that everyone who listens learns if you figure out how to make an engine run on water, don't fucking yeah. talk about it. Shout out Stan Meyer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, there was an interesting thought about that, that uh, when the, uh, the uh, engine, a uh, car engine uh, was uh, invented, that there was one, uh, I, I heard it yesterday somewhere, and he said, well, mile per gallon carburetor. If, no, no, I'm talking about another concept that he said that uh, they couldn't, uh, you know, they couldn't uh, make it a black project because it was already out. He said if they could have done that, they probably would be still uh, driving buggies, you know, with horses. If they could have done it. So he made a comparison with Tesla and, and other inventions that if they could, uh, you know, keep it back, they would have done it, but they couldn't do it because it was. So I think the idea is that you have to keep it. If you have this invention, you have to spread it, you know, and make it open source and spread it all around. Mm -hmm. That they cannot hide it anymore. Because if you think you're gonna make money of it, they kill you. So that's the wrong approach. You have to uh, right. give it away, so to speak. Just don't put it on which, YouTube. which what's what with the other project there eh, with the uh, what is it? Uh, Bitcoin. The guy nobody mm -hmm. knows who came up with that. Then you get the conspiracy. Oh, it was the CIA. But well, don't hey, worry. Hey, hey, hey. hey. But translate I'll share my secret with you guys through so carrier page. Translate that name in Japanese. What does it mean? It's, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like references to CIA programs. Something so like, like that. Something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Satoshi yeah. Nakimoto is like it means like I forget exactly what, but it, it references the names of their programs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. something something very. It's not... very compelling. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we know it's the internet came from very them. Compelling. So. Ladies no and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in on a Friday night yet again. We have successfully delivered you to the other side of midnight. So we are going to return you to your regularly scheduled lives. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for Saturday Night Anarchy on the New Prisoners channel. Mob Rules on Sunday. The Peasants Podcast on Monday night. And we will be back at 9 p.m. Eastern Tuesday night to play more of your requests than anybody else. Good night, everybody.